Before uh, we get into the rapid fire questions to wrap up, uh, the big, you know, kind of uh, um, development, if you will, over the last uh, 12, 18 months was uh, COVID uh, and this whole idea of now everyone is sitting at home. Uh, I used to do all of these interviews in person. Now I do them all remotely. Uh, you as well, uh, rather than go and meet people in person, you now sit at home and, and uh, do a lot of this. How has that helped Latin America, right? Is it something where now uh, it isn't as important for investors to get on a plane and travel there? They can kind of do things through uh, the internet. And, and so that's actually kind of increased accessibility to the region. Entrepreneurs and investors both get more comfortable uh, kind of fundraising online. Just what have you seen uh, kind of post-COVID really hitting um, in, in terms of it being a beneficial thing for, uh, for the Latin American ecosystem? I would say I can think of three things. First of all, the fundraising, no doubt. Um, you know, this is opening up a world, you know, just like when we did our demo day and we had 97 investors. Our last one, we had 180 something investors from all over the world, particularly at pre-seed, right? And seed and pre-seed, where it's just like you're, bet you're betting on the team, you're betting on the market opportunity. Um, you know, th those are that's opened up a wide uh, array of opportunities kind of connected to that. But a separate point, you know, we look at the, you know, kind of the network of people that are available to help and advise. And, you know, so you can get an early angel investor that's located anywhere and and then they can also add value to what you're doing. You know, I was very fortunate to find those two early investors that not only they bring money, more importantly, they add, you know, they added value and could help me with kind of the strategy, fundraising, you know, uh, and, and you know, ideas on execution because they had experience. So we're seeing this right now with Latitude where we built this amazing mentor network. And we have, we have you know, mentors in London. We have mentors in, you know, across Europe and in, you know, in, 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 the, in the States that people that actually think of all the incredible talented, incredibly talented people that, you know, have gone through places like Facebook or, Google or you know Amazon that you know uh, you know Luis one of our mentors is at Zillow he runs product at Zillow he's from you know Argentina grew up in Venezuela and now he's a mentor sharing all of his experience in product management at a at a company like Zillow right so and and these people have an intrinsic interest to like you know they had an opportunity to come to the states they made it big time in a lot a lot of ways and they want to they want to lift up their you know the ecosystem so I think that that is kind of the second point of, you know, there's a connection there. The last thing I'll say is that talent is anywhere now, right? I mean, I, I, I'm building this next thing. There's, there's seven of us, half of the team, you know, the three of, of the seven I haven't actually met in person on, on my team, right? And, you know, I feel like I know them. I'm working seven months with them and we're, we're just as close as we would be in an office. So wherever you stand on the kind of remote versus office, you know, debate, um, I, I think it's incontrovertible that, we're in a position now where like companies are being built and and to add to that you know there's big companies in the valley that are starting to hire engineering talent uh because it's it's flat now the world's flat you know i remember reading that book you know from from you know uh, freeman uh you know friedman back in you know 2004 and i'm like the world is flat and and that, that is it couldn't be more true today and so you're seeing you know engineering talent from argentina buenos aires building products you know for companies in the states and that's just, I think, you know, we're seeing a decentralization of the Silicon Valley and the Silicon Valley now is in the cloud, right? I, uh, I, I love it. And I think you're dead on. Uh, and the people who recognize this earlier rather than later will, uh, will greatly benefit for sure. 